about what plants need. And you remember how we wrote plants on the board and how each of the letters in the word plants stood for something that a plant needs. One of those was place. And when we looked at what plants need for space around their seeds or around their plants, we learned that some plants can be planted closer together. For example, a radish, you could fit 16 radishes in this one square foot. But a transplant of a cauliflower, you could only have one of those in that square foot. So remember, each plant, depending on how big it is when it grows to its full size, will need a certain amount of space. What we're going to do next is I'm going to call up one group of plants at a time, and you're going to bring your paper towel seeds, and we're going to replicate that map on the floor. That means we're going to make a copy of that map on the floor so that we remember where our plants will go in the garden. Okay, I'm going to call one group of seeds at a time. When I call your group, if you have that paper towel, you're going to bring your paper towel up and we're going to lay them across in sets of three. Carrot, come on up. Three across. Lay it down. Seed side up. This side for me, Haley. Maybe you'll put three here. Excellent. Good job, guys. There you go. As I call your group, you're going to come pick up the one that you lay down one row at a time. This time when you come up, make sure you have your pencil because we are going to take those pencils outside to use to poke the seeds into the soil. All right, we're going to recreate the garden that we had in the classroom out here on the actual soil. We'll get all three laid down, edge to edge. Let her get it wet. Your fingers might get a little bit wet and that's okay. Dig a hole right in the middle of where your paper towel is. Right. And go deeper. Just put it right next to it. Put it right next to it. There you go. A little bit deeper. There you go. Take it off the paper. Okay, now bring that in around it. Yep. There we go. And then we want to press it down. You're going to find your seed and you're going to press down with your pencil and try to push it right through the paper towel. Now, you don't want it to come any deeper than a, the wood part of your pencil, okay? If you go up to here, that's too deep for these little baby carrot plants, okay? No, that's too close. You take your paper towel off and you can bring it over here to our little pile of wet grass. All right, we've got our garden planted. The next thing that we have to do, since we've got them all evenly spaced, is we need to give it one more gentle watering. Just a gentle water. Keep it moving back and forth. There you go. So we have finished planting our seeds. We've finished planting our transplants. And what's very important, especially for our seeds, is that we keep that soil wet so that those seeds can germinate and start growing into little baby plants. So in your head right now, I want you to picture a full garden with carrots growing in the soil, broccoli growing on its broccoli plant, and Swiss chard leaves, and cauliflower. We will have a whole salad growing out in our garden in a 